All right, it is 4.10 p.m. on Wednesday, August 1st, 2018. All right, heard of this? The swirling algal bloom mixes beauty and danger. Apparently there is a gigantic swirl of algae out in the North Atlantic Ocean. Apparently, phytoplankton and blue algae blooms in the North Atlantic Ocean and Arctic Ocean are particularly intense this year and are creating some spectacular and enormous green swirls in the water. In what looks like work of art, neon green algae appear to swirl in the Baltic Sea. The image was captured July 18th by NASA's Operational Land Imager on the Landsat 8. Algal blooms occur every summer off the coast of Scandinavia, but the event appears particularly intense this year, according to NASA's Earth Observatory. That is a gigantic bloom of algae. Yeah, there's been a lot of um, algae happening in Florida, I guess now the Baltic Sea. So, let's see if it's, I, I, I think it might be, but I'm not 100% sure on this, uh, it might be the temperature of the earth increasing um the pollutants off of rivers and just the combination of the warming planet and the pollution just mixing into gigantic algae blooms all right next article okay apparently this page is not okay there it is toxic algae hospitalized at least 15 people in florida Let's see if the page works with me. All right. The worst red tide in more than a decade has left Florida's southwestern shoreline littered with dead fish and sea turtles. But now humans are getting sick too. Exposure to algae sent at least 15 people to the hospital last week for symptoms of related to containing uh, toxic algae. But the number of people who have actually gotten sick could be higher. An algae boom known as the red tide has wreaked havoc on coastal wildlife. Red tide season typically lasts from October to around February, but this red tide has persisted along the coast for 10 months. Some rivers and lakes in Florida are also seeing a rise in harmful algae, forcing the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to release water from Lake Okeechobee to keep lake levels down. Yeah, the toxic algae in Florida is really bad. I've heard from other YouTubers uh, that live close to uh, the ocean in Florida saying that they walk their dogs and that that might be the reason why they end up moving because of the toxic algae uh, in the air. Not of natural disasters, but the toxic algae. I'm like, yeah, that's pretty intense when that's what you think could push you off, you know, living on, on a state in a state all right um i went outside and i was walking my dog and i live in the east coast and um let's look at the previous pictures i saw three types of mushrooms this the uh, yellow like a little bell mushroom and zoom in here a little bit that mushroom right there I saw these little tiny white mushrooms just dotting the ground. And these red mushrooms, just like flat tops and just littered all over the floor. And it has to do with the intense moisture that is continually just dropping all from all these rain storms. Um, and it's just accumulating and causing mushrooms to grow everywhere. Alright, much of the east coast under flood watch as wet stormy pattern threatens region. A wet pattern is taking shape across the eastern U U.S. again. Numerous to widespread thunderstorms are expected as a frontal system from the west approaches and stalls over the region. There have already been flash flood warnings on Wednesday mor morning for parts of Virginia, including the Charlottesville area. Reddit estimated that three to six inches of rain has fallen in parts of interior Virginia, causing flooding. Some roads were reported to be closed in Charlottesville overnight due to flooding. Strong storms overnight also caused some damage and flooding along the Ohio and Michigan border and the Detroit metro area. You see here from Pensacola, Florida, all the way Montgomery, Al Atlanta, Charlotte, 
Asheville, Roanoke, Charleston, Harrisburg, just the entire East Coast. Just the the jet stream is just pushing northward and eastward, just all of this wet moisture. And it's accumulating, and just like Thor had said, it's going to be dangerous. So people who are getting flat flush warnings in your area, please pay attention. Do not go driving at night or in dangerous you know, areas. Please stay safe. Here is the um, IR loop for the weather right now and you can see here in the Gulf it's not a hurricane but it is a lot of moisture just building up and you see it just like a little engine just producing all this moisture that's gonna shoot up across the East Coast and affect us even more um, also it's good to keep an eye out on the Gulf because when storms like this build up um, in the Gulf and it tends to either build up and cause a storm or you know drift away and just cause rain hopefully it is the latter and it's just rain but something good to keep an eye out on um as you see here uh parts of new england are getting um little bloop of rain and precipitation coming up building up there uh you can see all the way from Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, parts of Florida, Louisiana, just getting pummeled by the rain. And um, it's going to build up. So please st stay aware for flood warnings and please stay safe out there, guys. Also, off the coast of Africa, um, it's pretty much staying in the equatorial line. The storms that are coming off, they're not um, seeming to be going anywhere northward to the uh, Caribbean uh, they're pretty much staying in the South American area so for those people in South America Ecuador all these places Brazil like um, you know stay safe with all these rains because I'm sure that the amount of rain is affecting you guys too um, just rain build up all right that's it for this video please stay safe out there you guys and don't let your pets eat mushrooms uh, if you're walking your dog <laughs> like I nearly had to do. <laughs> Alright, you guys stay safe.